Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna discuss all the vitamin C serums that I've tried, which one I would recommend and which one I wouldn't. I'm focusing only on pure ascorbic acid serums because if I also mention the derivatives, I think there's gonna be more confusion, so I might just leave that for another video. So today I'm talking about vitamin C serums. Why are they so popular? They're so popular because they're proven antioxidant and anti-aging effects on the skin. But the problem with them is that they oxidize fast, right? In contact with air, um, in contact with light, they just go bad and you can see that as pure serum, so transparent color going to be a little bit yellow, then a little bit orange, and then going even into brown. Yeah, that's the problem, the stability of vitamin C serums. That's why I also think there aren't so many on the market, but still the studies support the pure vitamin C serums when it comes to efficiency and I can see that it gives me the glow in the morning. Probably is due also to a little bit of exfoli exfoliation since it's ascorbic acid, um, but also long-term effect. You know, vitamin C is naturally presented in our skin as well, but we have to consume it, right? So why not add a little bit in the daily routine or even in the night routine if you want it, but it also boosts the SPF protection of your sunscreen. So I rather use it um, in the daytime. Also, all these ascorbic acid serums, they're really thin, so they just sink right into the skin and I don't have a problem with any other products above them so they're perfect match for everybody i would say but before we start please subscribe to my channel it means a lot and it helps to boost my youtube algorithm so more people can see my videos so let's start okay first of all i want to start with the legend that started it all and this is the, I, I, I still have the bottle. Sometimes I just keep some bottles or some packaging because I just think that they're nice, they're special, or I paid way too much, right? So, SkinCeuticals, CE Ferulic High Potency 15% Vitamin C Serum which has added ferulic acid and vitamin E inside and they started it all because they have uh, a lot of studies that have proven the effect of it. So it's a nice serum. I enjoyed using it, but you know, now the prices are increasing and I'm seeing like increasing like 10 euro, 20 euro up and I just recently checked the price for this one and it's 190 euro and I was like oh my god oh my god 190 euro and for us that we live in Europe this serum it's made in USA so it takes a lot of time to transport and you don't know how it is transported it already oxidizes a little bit so you're not even paying for the pure fresh serum here in Europe. So um, for me, 190 euro, it's a no-go, it's a nice serum, but I wouldn't recommend it just due to the price. When I bought it, it was, it was 160 euro, but it was on sale for 130 euro. So I was okay, okay, but I would never pay it 190 euro because this is vitamin c ascorbic acid um i know they have to pay all the studies that i've done but uh, maybe if you have money to throw around or not even just donate it, that money i have better suggestions for you and the next one is the cheapest one i think and it's actually a dupe to this uh, SkinCeutical Serum. Again, it has 15% uh, vitamin C and it also comes in a bottle like SkinCeuticals. Uh, the consistency is fairly same 
but you get it freshly made because this Gitten Gorgeous uh, comes from Hungary and they make fresh serums every week. So when I got it, it was transparent. And now they also sell these mi mini bottles. Um, you can buy one and then when you get it, you just pour like 10 milliliters inside and put that in the fridge. And then the next time again, 10 milliliters, put it in the fridge. And then at the end, use the last 10 milliliters here inside. It's such a practical move because per uh, first time when I use it, it went uh, yellow, but with this mini bottle and refrigerating, it stayed transparent the whole time. Um, and it's a gorgeous serum and it's only 1250 per 30 milliliter bottle. I recommend it a lot. Next one, which I don't have the packaging, is Paula's Choice C15 Booster, which has the same amount of vitamin C, 15%, also ferulic acid, um, hyaluronic acid, pentanol, and a peptide. It's 20 milliliter bottle, but the bottle is um, really not transparent, so it's white, and also the packaging is made the way that the dropper goes out uh, almost like a vacuum like so you don't put that much air inside so this this is another way to protect the serum from going bad plus it's 20 milliliters so you use it faster but i know it's the price is already steep it's around 60 euro and then the really good one, maybe for someone who needs an extra glow or more like dry skin orientated or for the winter time, even for the combination skin is Drunk Elephant C Firma. It has 50, 15% vitamin C, fruit enzymes, ferulic acid, vitamin E, hyaluronic acid, pumpkin ferment. It has so many ingredients and the packaging is unique. You can't find that packaging anywhere else. You just, um, you know, you have the powder and you have the liquid. So even if it comes from America, it doesn't matter because it's stable. And the moment you pop it and put it together, um, then mix it, then, you know, this whole uh, product stops. So it's freshly made right from your home. Um, and it gives you just a really, really nice natural glow. I really love it. And the price is, yeah, I know the price goes up, but it's still not 109 euro. It's 76 euro. You can always get those serums also on sale. I always say like, don't buy full price products because the sales are happening throughout the year all the time. Everybody finds an excuse to make a sale, at least 15% to 25, I guarantee. If you wait a little, you always get it. And then there's another fail that <laughs> I tried and I don't like this brand at all. It's Revolution, Revolution Beauty. I think their products, what I've tried so far and I don't wanna try anything else anymore, um, they're just fakes of other brands. They're just, you know, using them and then use the cheap materials and fast methods to make cosmetics. So the serum that I got was already not just orange, but halfway going brown. And it's supposed to be 20% vitamin C serum, which is really high concentration. Um, but it came and I couldn't use it. So I just, I don't know how, maybe I used it on my legs, I think. You were even able to see like a little bit of the product on the side of it. It was just, it was disgusting. So I don't recommend Revolution Beauty, not even other products, just stay away from it. Um, and then I also tried the La Roche-Posay Pure Vitamin C 10%, which is really popular, you know, because they have really good marketing techniques. But um, however I put it, and also my friends, however I used it, it peeled. 
like not right away, but throughout the day, it's just peeled and this was annoying. So I was like, why would I use this serum? If it peels, it just makes my experience nasty and I don't wanna use it. So I don't recommend this product. And I also tried Vichy Lift Active Specialist Peptide C Ampules, which were really good with 10% vitamin C. And they were in ampules, 1.8 milliliters, and you just pop it off and you had it like for three times. So it didn't go bad because it was in small packages, but I can't find it anywhere. So I don't know, um, they stopped producing it and you know, I don't know why. Uh, she also has a serum that I haven't tried because I saw the alcohol was like in the third place and I also saw the review of my friend who said it has a small alcohol, you know, f uh, scent. So when I hear that, I'm immediately put off because um, this is not what I want to put on my face first time. In the I, I don't mind alcohol, but smelling alcohol first thing in the morning when I put my serum on, uh, this is something I don't want. And also there is, um, there is a serum on the way. Um, I think I already got it, but I sent it to my dad's address by mistake. So uh, this is the L'Oreal Vitamin C Serum with 12%, I think, Vitamin C. Um, and it's also in a non-transparent bottle. So I'm really interested how this serum is going to be. And also I want to try Medicaid Pure C15 Serum and Dr. Danny's Gross Vitamin C Lactic 15% Serum. Uh, but they're all quite expensive so oh, it's just so hard to to give more than 100 euro for a vitamin c serum uh, because you can get like vitamin c in any um in any drugstore apothecary for five euro like i don't know 100 grams of it and then you know, when you see there's just 15% in a small 30 milliliter ball, you're like, this is pure profit. Um, that's why I would say like, go, like don't go above 100 euro for a vitamin C serum, seriously. Only if you have too much money, but not many people have too much money. So I would say I recommend Geek and Gorgeous C Glow. I recommend Paula's Choice C15 Booster. I still have to try the higher one, the 25%, but you know, I didn't try it because actually there, it's not proven that above 20, 15% there is, there is more efficiency. It can only be more irritating. And, um, yeah, those were the ampules and they're not there anymore. So that's it. I recommend those three serums till now, till I try other ones and then I'll be back with another video. Before we end, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share. Um, it means a lot, really. So till next time, have a nice day. Bye bye.